hello guys welcome back to inbox euro in this video you will get a complete guide for google search console this is going to be a critical video for you if you're on a website or a blog because by google search console you can index your website in google quickly you can remove the bad us there are so many other important things that you need to know if you're running a website or a blog in today's video we are going to understand all these things i'm going to show you what you can do with google search console how you can add your website with google search console and what are the other features which really help you to increase the traffic on your blog or on your website guys at any point if you feel like this video is going to be very technical don't worry because it's totally normal if you are not aware of google search console as you are going to deep dive in the tutorial you are going to start understanding things they can be something technical jargons which you will not understand but you don't worry about it by the end of this video you will have a really good understanding about google search console let's start the video you have to search google search console on google click on the first side now click on start now here's the two option comes first option is domain and the other option is url prefix you have to click on the URL prefix, enter your website URL. Here we enter the URL and click on the continue button. Now some checking verifications and this interface opens. Here you can see the HTML file on top. You have to download this file. There are many also other options for verification like HTML tag, Google Analytics account. Google Tag Manager or Domain Name Provider file is downloaded successfully but you have to open the Domain Service Provider dashboard I have just opened my dashboard here I search File Manager you just click on my File Manager folder you have to click on the public HTML there is an option of uploads I just click on upload select file to upload or drag or drop I just select file here's the option of drag or drop I will just drop this file just upload this file yeah the file is uploaded successfully yeah the process is completed you have to click on this button verify this may take some time course it directly depends upon your hosting service providers if it takes time you have to purge all the cache files from your website and you have to click on the verify button by the way my site got verified but there is no data to show on google search console i have opened another site to show you the best Google search console tutorial for you the all guide you need to know about Google search console so let's begin with my new site data on Google search console here on the top you will see the overview option here you can see the performance portion and here you can see the indexing portion i just got 132 index pages it is very important for the website owners and experience pages here you can see about the core web vitals experience or https experience enhancements you can see site link search box or videos url inspection if you want to inspect your URL, you have to paste URL on the inspect any URL option at Google Search Console. The Google Search Console will inspect your URL. This is a portion of search results. Here you can see the total clicks on my website, total impression on my website, and every CTR, average position. CTR basically the click through rate. This data is about of three months. If you are putting the website 
just like you are putting news on your website and many other just like uh, current affairs and many other things the data of google news will show you here just like seven total clicks and 135 impressions ctr 5.2 percent here's the pages that got indexed by google search console here's the data about the pages and that is video pages here's the data about the video pages that got indexed by google search console sitemap this is the main part basically sitemap is the main part of this video basically it is the code which will index your website on google you, if you have any website you have to just paste the url link and at the end of the url link you have to just write sitemap underscore index dot this type of page will open in front of you a uh, post side map page side map portfolio side map category side map video side map and local side map you have to paste this link on this side map option and here all the data will come on google's search console any other tools that generate your website side map just like rank math as you you have to just install this plugin enable the plugin copy sitemap from there and just paste the link as before here the option of removals if you don't want any url from dax on google just have to click on the new request paste your url and just click on the submit button the url did not index by google because you submit a request to Google that this URL should not be indexed on Google. Here you can see the page experience of your website. Core Web Vitals of mobile and desktop. HTTPS is good. Core Web Vitals you can see also here. Here is the mobile experience of your website and the desktop experience of your website. Here you can see about the HTTPS. There's no current issue in the pages. You can see all the pages are good. Here you can see the shopping tab listings. There's no data about to show on the shopping tab listing because my website has no shopping tab listing. Where you can see the site link search box from here and here you can see the data about the video pages. There are the two pages indexed with videos. You can see the manual actions, no issue detected, security issues. There is also no issue detected. As you can see the links of your website, external links and internal links of your websites, top linking sites. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications. Also drop a comment below about your experiences and any questions you have. We will love to hear from you.